Good evening. My name is Lawrence Murray, and I am the Dean of Admissions at the Gabelli School of Business at Fordham University in New York City in the United States of America. I'm here to talk to you about a variety of our specialized master's programs. Next slide, please. As you can see, we have five verticals for our master's programs. There are three in the analytics vertical, business analytics, uh, applied statistics and decision making, and marketing intelligence. There's one in the information technology that's a master of science in technology, two in the finance vertical, global finance and quantitative finance, three in the management vertical, a master of science in management, a master of science in media management, a master of science in strategic marketing and communications, and two in the professional services, which are really accounting based. We have a master of science in accounting and a master of science in taxation. All of our specialized master's programs are STEM designated, and that means additional time for work authorization in the U.S., uh, three years total. Um, the only exception is our master's of science in management and our master's of science in strategic marketing and communications. Next slide, please. While all of your programs are designed to give you the most up-to-date and rigorous and industry-related techn uh, technology um, and technical skills uh, around finance or accounting, around analytics or whatever it may be, we do believe in a well-rounded uh, experience and a well-rounded uh, education. So a few years ago, we created something called the Leadership Certification. And the Leadership Certification is our opportunity to help round out our students um, to make them more well-rounded leaders when they graduate. The leadership certification uh, includes a series of leadership assessments to get a better sense of sort of who you are, what your leadership style is, what your leadership personality is, uh, a leadership simulation, leadership coaching, and a series of leadership networking opportunities. All students are required to go through this um, at the Gavelli School of Business. Next slide, please. Um, we recognize that students coming to uh, graduate business school are looking for internships and jobs. Um, uh, we have a full service career development office that works with all of our students uh, in small teams, small groups uh, with their programs, as well as individually to help the students accomplish their professional goals and career aspirations. Uh, this, what you're looking at now, is a sample of some of the companies that the members of our career development team, they actually work for. So as you can see, the members of our career development team bring a wide variety of experiences from some of the world's top companies. Next slide, please. We have a full service career development team. As you can see here, here's a sample of some of the companies that have hired our students for their internships and full-time jobs. Next slide, please. Um, we are right in the heart of Manhattan, uh, here in New York City. Um, there are more than 10,000 uh, Fordham Gabelli alumni in the New York Tri-State area, more than 40,000 uh, Gabelli alumni across the world, um, and with more than uh, almost 200,000 Fordham uh, University alumni um, around the globe. Um, we are still uh, the leading, uh, one of the leading areas in North America for private sector uh, as well as public sector jobs. So this, even in the in the wake of a pandemic, um, New York City and uh, the New York Tri-State area is still a a place where students can have the opportunity to attain their career goals and professional aspirations. Next slide, please. Um, while we expect their students to be involved in the classroom, we also expect them to get involved outside of the classroom. Um, here is a sample of some of the student clubs and organizations. Uh, we have a Fordham, we have some clubs that are focused more on careers, uh, like the Fordham Finance Society and the Management Consulting Association. We have more affinity organizations, women in business, the Black and Hispanic MBA Association, um, as well as a Chinese Business Association. Um, we have some special interest groups like Net Impact. Uh, and then we also have some um, fun activities, fun groups. Uh, we do have a table tennis club. We also have a, uh, a football club, an American football club, as well as a European football club as well. We have a reasonable expectation that students are gonna get involved outside of the classroom. Um, so we expect you to do well in the classroom, but we also expect that you're going to get involved outside of the classroom. Next slide, please. 
Here are the application requirements. These are pretty standard. I know that many of you have gone through some of these uh, presentations before. You need a resume, a transcript, uh, GMAT and GRE. Most of our programs are now test optional, um, but you can go online and check to see which ones are test optional and which ones aren't. Um, we do require the language competency exam, including the, uh, the options for the Pearson test for English, the Duolingo English tests, um, as well as the at-home versions of the TOEFL and the IELTS. Um, essays, recommendation letters, and then nearly all students are asked to do an admissions interview. Next slide, please. Here are our Fed uh, 2021 application deadlines. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can go to our website and learn a little bit more about the differences uh, between those particular deadlines. Next slide, please. Here's some information about our tuition. Again, pretty straightforward. You've got your tuition. It's credit-based, so uh, the number of credits in your program, that they vary. If you go online, there's a very detailed breakdown of each uh, Master's of Science program and what the tuition and fees are for that program. Next slide, please. We do offer scholarships to help support our students. Um, the Master's of Science students receive average scholarships uh, between 15000 and 35000 um, We have a series of graduate assistantships. We partner with several companies around international student loans. And then once you become a student, there is a small pool of money for continuing student scholarships. Next slide, please. Um, here are a variety of ways that we can engage with us, that you can engage with us. Um, again, if you go to our website, there's a lot more detail and you can self-schedule uh, for the opportunity to engage with us at one of these types of events. Next slide, please. Talk a little bit about our COVID-19 response. Um, we, again, we, we started doing GMAT and GRE test waivers and some of our programs are test optional. Uh, we've extended our deadlines much further out than we normally had in the past. Uh, we've made big investments in, inve in educational technology and instructional design. Um, that includes the development of hybrid and online courses. Um, obviously, we have health and safety protocols uh, in play in order to have on-campus uh, density reduction. Next slide, please. Here's just a simple uh, uh, chart uh, with the different members of our admissions office and the programs that they are responsible for. Feel free to reach out to any of them um, about questions about those particular programs. Next slide, please. And that's all I have. So I think now we will take some questions. All right, thanks for your great sharing. And uh, we already have student ask questions. So one student said, uh, uh, one student said, where to eat, like in this school? Yeah, so we do have an on, we do have on campus dining facilities. Obviously, we've made some changes with regards to, to COVID-19 um, and the capacity is limited. But the vast majority of students, we're right in the heart of, of New York City, the vast majority of students, if they're not bringing their lunches, uh, then they are, they are bringing their food during the day. Then they're going out and eating at one of the, 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 the many restaurants that are available right around campus or within a very short, a short distance to campus. And yes, despite what some of the things that you're seeing on the news, there are lots of restaurants, lots, thousands of restaurants that are still open in New York City. They've modified uh, their capacity. Um, that are ready and willing to serve uh, Fordham Cabelli students. All right, and uh, the next one is uh, what kind of fun thing to do inside or outside of the campus? Yeah, so um, we were one of the, the, the la one of the later states to fully open or open modified. So all of the museums are open, um, so students can still do the museums. Uh, we've increased the number of outdoor activities. And yes, it's, it, is, it is fall here and going into winter. There are still some winter activities. Um, so New York City has adapted very well. So there are lots of fun things to do both um, inside uh, as well as outside. And that's on top of the wide variety of activities that you're going to have in whatever academic program you're interested in, the Gabelli School and then Fordham University um, as a whole. So I think students would be at a loss if they found that they didn't have things to do. Okay, great. Uh, the last question is if the Chinese students want to find a job in there, is that difficult or not? 
Yeah, I mean, for all students, it's challenging, whether you're an international student from China, from uh, Japan, from uh, the United Kingdom, or from uh, South America, it's a challenge to, to, to land internships. We do our best to work with every student um, to develop a career development plan and to work to get them lined up with the companies that align with their interests um, and their values for internships as well as uh, full-time jobs. For most of our, our uh, specialized master's programs, all students, whether they're international or not, um, have some type of internship. That's about 75% of the students have some type of internship. And then full-time employment, it's usually, it's about 60% of students have full-time employment six months after graduation. All right. Thanks for your great sharing. And uh, that's all your session today. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye.